background was a teacher, so I have a history of uh, having teachers in the family. And so I liked and uh, over and above that, I loved all my teachers, and they were an inspiration to take up teaching, like, uh, college teachers especially. So it's in the blood. It's in the blood, and the kind of inspiration the college faculty have me, I wanted to be there. Like, so, what kind of a student were you back in school? Did, were you a back, kid? Uh, I was a backbencher. Uh, back in school, we had no choice. In college, if you say, yeah, I was uh, one of the backbenchers. Uh, troublemaker, I couldn't say. Uh, but uh, the kind of rules we, we see now, it was not applicable to us then. So, I studied in Tempe College. And I remember spending a lot of my time on the Kiramar beach. As a teacher over here, uh, share us about a few funniest moments that you had in class. Every day you will find some antics happening in class. Uh, the difference, there's no difference between the undergrad students or the PGDF students. I feel like Many times you wonder if you are teaching the nursery student. <laughs> okay, the same thing. You give them uh, a inch, they take a yard kind of thing and excuses galore. Like, Any specific incident that you want to share? Which content to share? Because <laughs> this is another issue. You know, in class I stand and I forget. <laughs> That's why you have this term, right? Absent-minded professor. It applies to all the professors. <laughs> I forget the names okay, and I will. And ah, okay, this is, yeah, talking about this, there, see, when most of us, I think we suffer from memory loss. And you have the students who take advantage of that situation. So I had this group of BA journalism students uh, in the previous institute that I taught in T jobs. Where they know like you know I get carried away with any topics related to you know like uh, national, international politics. So deliberately on plan, like they would plan beforehand and uh, within 15 minutes of my getting into the you know syllabus, they'll ask some question that will take me on a trip. <laughs> and it will like halfway through I realize I would realize like you know it is they are not listening, they are just throwing questions at me and I am busy answering to all this question, talking about Kashmir, talking about the Middle East, talking about African issues when they had to learn hardcore literature and they will be like giving that green like you know see we have accomplished ma'am half an hour has gone Okay, that's one thing that we might have to learn I mean, uh, yeah, I actually figured that out when you came for audiovision. Mm -hmm. From World War II, we went out to Russia. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, if you uh, have to sit in any of your current colleagues' classes, who would it be? But if okay, fine, I, I would be interested in to sit there, so let's sit at this person's class. One of uh, faculty's class who I would really be interested in is Chandrasekhar's, Professor Chandrasekhar's uh, the marketing faculty because. I even to talk to him it's so humorous. He pulls your leg big time. So I would want to be his student. Because <laughs> he reminds me a lot of my professors because they were also like big time gullas, uh, like literally. <laughs> so he is one such person. Anansal, Anandar is my best class. These two professors class I would really want to attend. Very nice. Great. Thank you.